So at Google I.O. this week, Google announced a new interface for Android TV as part of the second developer preview of Android O. As Preview 2 is now available to download, if you own the Nexus player, you can install Preview 2 and check out the new interface now. For those who do not own the Nexus player, then here is a quick overview of how the new interface currently shapes up. First up, things are drastically different here. The new style employs what is essentially a two-pane view, where the left-hand side of the screen lists the main lean-back launcher attributes, apps, watch next. The right-hand side of the screen employs a more expanded view of each of those main left-hand side categories. So unlike the old, well, current Android TV interface, all content is no longer grouped together and is no longer always in view. Content is now far more individualized and less of it is visible at any one given time. For instance, the new look includes what Android TV refers to as channels. Although it is better to simply think of these as the various Android TV apps. With the new interface, you can now have dedicated rows for dedicated apps. On install though, this is mainly only the Google apps, so YouTube, Play Movies, Play Music are all already listed as dedicated channels with the expanded view offering a greater selection of content that you might be interested in. Of course, the recommendations are only what Android TV thinks you might like, and you do have the option to click on the See More link at the end of each row, although it doesn't really offer any more recommendations, instead it just launches the app in question. You can of course also customise the channel list by adding new ones and removing old ones. So if you don't want Play Movies or Play Music showing up on the home screen, it is as simple as hitting the Manage Channels link and removing the channels you don't want. Unfortunately though again, you can't really add that many apps at the moment, if any, including Netflix, which is arguably the most often used app on Android TV. There is also this new Watch Next feed, which although new is not really new. This seems as though it is just a rebranding of the current recommendations role you will find on the current version of Android TV. So this acts as your catch-all for recommendations based on what you watch. However, again, on launch, it does not seem to be quite picking up watched content yet. So this is likely something that also needs to be ironed out. Likewise, you do have the ability to navigate all the way to the left-hand side of the screen, at which point you can control the channels and the way they are viewed. So if you can move them up or down, or if you want, just remove a channel completely. Nothing is static here, and you are able to further customize the look of this new interface to suit your individual viewing habits. Of course, this is only a developer preview, and it is only the second preview for that matter. So much of what is being shown now is at a really early stage of development. So you should expect more changes to happen before Android O is fully released for Android TV. We already know, for instance, that channels will be able to make use of a preview view where the content of each recommendation starts playing as you scroll through the channel. Generally speaking, the rest of the interface largely remains the same at the moment. There are no major changes to the settings at present, and everything else works as it does normally. So far, the new interface is largely only relevant to the immediate home screen in Android TV. Although this certainly is a fairly big change to the home screen, and one which will likely split opinions.